Hello everyone and welcome back to Clark Sports Cards. I might be a little bit late to the punch on that, but I thought I'd go ahead and do a retail review of Illusions Basketball that just come out this week in the retail formation. Um, I think it come out maybe towards the end of last week, maybe in some stores, but mainly it come out this week. So a little bit late to the punch as far as getting this out, but thought we'd go ahead and rip a couple blasters here in the channel so we can see what to expect in Illusions Basketball. 2020 2021 uh like i said this has the uh the, the uh, wiseman's and and the uh, ant-man and the lamellos and stuff like that rookies in it because they're still panini's way far behind and they're basically killing their product because they're so far behind we still got probably at least a quarter of cards uh as far as sets to come out in the 2020 20 2021 products line and they haven't even started the 2021 other than the Chronicles draft. So the hype is going to be left for the 2021 products. And, you know, we'll be halfway through the season before anything is released. So, you know, hype sells cards, regardless of what anybody says. Um, the anticipation of cards coming out, the anticipation of rookies and how they'll do. And Panini is shooting herself in the foot by not putting out some of the new products because that's what people want. They want the new they want the new cards. They want the new basketball stars, the Kate Honeycams and stuff like that to come out. They want to collect those. They want to do it. And all they got is Chronicles Draft, which is a terrible product. Absolutely terrible. <coughs> so let's get into the illusions. And I think that illusion is a little bit different than say like the Donruss and the Absolute where you've got chase cards. These are, I think, acetate cards is what you're looking for on this. Not really SSP cards as much, which I'm sure they might have some of these in there. But as far as my know, there's no like Kaboom or there's no Downtown or nothing like that. I think it's mainly in the acetate cards is what the hits are. So let's get in to look at it and see what we got. Let's unwrap them a little bit. We'll set one to the side and get into one and look at the formation a little bit of the product. All right, so in the front, we got uh, Wiseman and John Moran. It's got six cards per pack and six packs per box. We got 36 cards in these. These retail right around anywhere from $25 to $28, depending on where you get them at in different locations. But that's about the norm uh, now for any type of Panini products. I think they're going to find out here in the short term some of these products is going to be left to go on the discount rack in the near future so people are not scarfing them up as much once the new hype has come through they kind of sit there a little bit and you see it's a smaller set it's got 20 cards per uh, set 150 base and 50 rookies in there and you kind of see a little bit of what you're looking for the emeralds and different stuff like that the trophy collection signatures and stuff like that so a little bit of that on the back and a little bit of other view of it as well so nothing spectacular you're looking for uh, autographs uh, and rookies and trophy collection signatures so nothing guaranteed out of this but will be a fun little rip I'm sure let's see what we can get in this will actually like I said be my first opening of illusions I thought we just do it as a surprise here on the channel to see what I can get out of it so there we go we got our six packs in here uh, nothing special about the packs as far as width or anything like that so let's get into open them one by one and see what we can get as far as cards and what they look at some people don't like the look of illusions because it's got the shadow effect um, and then the color in the back and the forefront. Uh, I seem to like them. I kind of like the way they look a little bit. Uh, some people just don't like them. But either way, here we go. Uh, we'll start off with the Harrison Barnes right there. A little front and back action going on to it right there. No stats or nothing like that on the back of it, which is kind of one thing I do not like about the product. I always like seeing stats. Uh, Obrey Jr. right there. And our first acetate card here, and it's a Ben Wallace, and it says this is Living Legends acetate cards. You can see through it. You can see my fingers and stuff like that. Uh, one good thing about the acetate cards is the quarters are always going to be normally pretty good. It's They start to peel sometimes, as you can see right there at the edge. We're starting to peel just a little bit. The acetate cards are known for that. So, uh, But a nice little Ben Wallace nonetheless right there. And we got a DeAndre Ayton right there. And C.J. Ellerby is our rookie. We'll set all our rookies up somewhere right there. And Isaiah Stewart right there. Nice little front and back action going on there. So 
I might miss some parallels because I'm not 100% familiar with them, but we'll take it. Let's see what we can get. All right. Here we go. Next pack. back so let's go through the front which will be the base nice little there's a Garrett Allen right there for the Cavs shot Curry Lewis jr. and one of this location that it's at I don't know if that's a parallel or what but definitely a different color look a little bit but either way that's a rookie Curry Lewis jr. and I think that he's hurt right now Jimmy Butler and Evan Fournier, and who we got here? This is a Mason Jones rookie. Mason Jones. So we're looking for some Lamelo, Ant Man, Wiseman, things like that. Let's see what we can get in here. Still got a few more packs to go here. And a nice Seth Curry, wrong Seth Curry. Jamal Murray, and this is called a career lineage, right here. Giannis. Career lineage, and it's kind of kind of raised. You can see a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but you can feel it. it's a little bit raised in there. It reminds me of some of the cards back in the day, the, the baseball cards where they have the raised or the action cards in, in football, I should say. You can see a little bit on the back back here through the reflection, but they had those in action cards I think in football years ago. Uh, Christian Wood and Josh Green. Right there for the Dallas Mavericks and Robert Woodard the second. Seems like I'm always pulling his cards. There's a couple of rookies we'll throw out there. Three more packs. We're halfway through the first blaster. Kind of speed it up a little bit right there. There's OG. Fredman Vleet. And there is a Rui. Chris Levert. Kyle Kuzman and Reggie Perry is our rookie. So we only got one rookie card out of that pack for some reason. Okay. Next pack. Start for the Terry Rozier, uh, Lou Williams, and RJ Hampton. And this is a rookie reflections. And a Zach Levine right there. Kind of weird looking card. Don't know which side's up. <laughs> but we'll set that in the back back here. It's got a ray surface as well. There's a Patrick Beverly. And Shadik Bay is our rookie. And Aaron Naismith. So we got two rookies out of that one. And I got our last pack. Still looking for Lamello and Ant Man. And we got a Bobby Portis, Andre Drummond, James Harden. Darius Garland, second year card. Lucas Robinson and Emmanuel Quickly is not bad. Nice Emmanuel Quickly card. Another bad thing about these cards is they're all black and foil and stuff. So, you know, as well as I do, anytime you get a black card, it's going to be hard to grade. So, all right, let's get into the second blaster, see if we can do a little bit better than what we did there. Get some of the key rookies out of that. We got our eight packs there again. I mean, excuse me, six packs again. So, let's go through this. Two blasters of illusions. Dennis Schroeder, Powell, and cut a Kevin Durant amazing, and that's an acetate card there. I can separate it in a little bit. There you go. Amazing Kevin Durant. We'll set that over there. And Giannis. And we got Isaac Acora is our rookie there, and Devin Dotson is our other rookie. So, all right, put that over there. Acora's not too bad. Next pack Malik Monk, Draymond Green, there's a cat, Kevin Love, Buddy Heald, and Cole Anthony. I'll take a Cole Anthony. A nice little Cole Anthony right there. Good little rookie, promising rookie. Kobe White, here we go. Nice little Kobe White card there. Kendrick Nunn. And we got a career lineage here of good old Shaquille O'Neal, Shaq Daddy, right there. We'll put him right there. And we got a Isaiah Roby. And our rookie is Obi Toppin. That's not bad. And there he is, LaMelo Ball. Okay, we got him. Nice Obi Toppin and LaMelo. So that's a good pack right there. Definitely 
definitely a good card. Let's go ahead and sleeve old Lamello. All right, set him right up in front right there. Now I just need an Ant Man and a Wiseman. One of my three big ones. All right, Dragic, Crowder. There's something about these cards. It's almost like there's a different look to them or something. Like the third card in. I know you can see it. It's almost like a re refractor look to it a little bit. You can see it's a little bit different. Especially down there at the Killian Hayes. You can see. So, either way, it's a nice little rookie there, Killian Hayes. There's LeBron James. LeBron James. We'll cry baby to little James. We'll put him right there. R.J. Barrett and R.J. Hampton. Two R.J.'s back to back. There we go. Nice R.J. Hampton. He seems like he's starting to produce a little bit now. Marcus Smart. Fred Van Vleek and Mikhail Flynn is our Ricky Reflections. Okay. And Cainter... Saban Lee and Moses Brown is our rookie. So we got one pack to go. See if we can get an Ant Man out of this pack. Paul Millsap. Kill Bridges. Lou Williams. Sweet Lou. Colin Sexton. And Milton. Our rookie is Tate. It's on Tate. So, we missed Ant-Man, but we did get a little mellow, so there wasn't a bad little rip for it. Got some nice cool cards. Got a nice Emmanuel Quickly there. Cole Anthony. Uh, RJ Hampton. Some of the other good ones in there. It's probably the hit of the box is going to be this nice Lamello ball. Nothing special. No numbers or nothing like that. Uh, I'm assuming some of these have got parallels to them. I just, it's hard for me to see as far as the difference. I'll have to go look into it a little bit, but I'm sure something like a little refracture or, or something like that that I've noticed here in the back of these cards. Just seem like they're just a little bit cleaner or something like that. So, either way, thanks for everybody for stopping in and a nice little look at Illusions basketball of this year. And hit that like, share, and subscribe. Keep on ripping. Clark Sports Cards out.